Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Chris Squared, where I'll be telling you all about my life in pictures. And this is specifically about my struggle with social anxiety, as that's probably been my biggest struggle throughout my life. I was born when my parents owned a pub and they also already had my sister. And they found that having two kids whilst also running a pub was pretty hard work. So they ended up selling that and we moved down the road to a house in the countryside. Now when I say in the countryside, I mean this place is really remote. There's barely any other people around, um, never mind any children. So I didn't really have any other kids to play with when I was growing up. So I turned to computers as a method of entertaining myself, but also interacting with other people because I would use the computer to animate and play games. But also I would go onto forums and interact with communities that had similar interests to me. Now, getting most of my social interaction from forums was turned out to be a pretty bad idea because on the internet, I don't know if you've noticed, but people are cruel, they are sarcastic and they are aggressive. So a lot of my sense of humor kind of adopted this style. And it turns out kids in real life at school do not appreciate that. And my sarcastic humor got me into a lot of trouble and I ended up getting pretty heavily bullied. This really knocked my confidence and I became really introverted. And so I intentionally distanced myself from people because I felt like my own personality was harmful to myself because it made people not like me. And in the middle of my teenage years, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater came out for the PlayStation and I absolutely loved it. And I thought, right, that is the sport for me. I'm gonna take up skateboarding. And that's brilliant because it's an individualistic sport. I don't have to interact with anyone else. I don't have to rely on anyone else. I can just do this sport and enjoy myself. But the twist is here that as a result, I actually made some of the best friends I've ever had. Even though the sport is individualistic, I ended up hanging around with people with very similar interests to me. And as a result, I made some great friends. And as it turns out, these would be some of the best friends I ever made and I'm still friends with them today. But at this time, school was finishing, and so everyone started to move away from our little village into the cities to get an education at university. But I didn't feel like I was ready for that sort of lifestyle. University didn't seem like the right thing for me. So I got myself a job, and it turned out to be the first in a long string of dead-end jobs. With most of my friends moved away and me in jobs that I hated, I became a little bit depressed. Everyone else I knew was going off and making something of themselves and here I was stuck in my hometown in a job I hated. So I decided I wanted to make something of myself. So I set up my own web design company. I had no experience, especially in business. And with a mortgage to pay for, I ended up in a lot of trouble. I had barely any money coming in. I got lonely from working from home and my depression just got worse. One day I traveled to the other end of the country to visit one of my old friends who is currently at university and we went to a gig together. I had such a good time and it showed me what university life could be like. And I was so sick of my situation. I thought, right, this is it. I am moving and I'm going to university. I'm gonna to get to socialize with loads more people. I'm gonna be given some free money from the government to do this. This is gonna be a great three years. I didn't just slack off though. I worked really, really hard because I knew how important my future was to me now. So I studied and I studied and I graduated with a first class degree and I was so pleased with myself. It got me a great job in my field of web design. And in this new place of work, there was plenty of other like-minded people. So I had plenty to talk about with them and that got me more confident in interacting with people. But with the rest of my spare time, I didn't really know what to do because I get bored if I'm not creating something. And I wanted to make something in video because I'd learned plenty about that during my time at university. Thinking about the progress that I had made over the years, I thought it'd be a good idea to share that story with other people in the hope that it would help someone, even if it just meant that they knew other people suffered from the same problems too. Because sometimes just knowing you're not alone is all you need. And that's why I started this YouTube channel. It turns out though, getting found on YouTube is not easy. So I started using a live broadcasting app called Periscope in order to promote it. And this has helped my social confidence tenfold. Because you're talking into a screen and people are writing to you back in text, it removes so many elements of social interaction that I find difficult. So this has been a fantastic stepping stone on improving the way I interact with people. I'm finding a lot of the skills and confidence I've gained from this have transferred into my real life. And I've had so many people talk to me on there telling me how much they relate to the problems that I've had. It really just makes it all worthwhile. And that really brings me to today. So here's to many more years of improvement on becoming slightly less socially inadequate. Until next time, see ya. I'm definitely not buying you anything for Christmas. Oh, I was going to get you something. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I've already got your present. Really? No. Uh. <laughs>